All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakodash, <coughs> and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect. This year is Amma 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson to the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Um, uh, I was the, the video basically is dealing with the, the, the world leaders today. All right, the leaders of this world, even in even in the leaders of this country. All right, because the leader the leaders of this country is not the man who they elected in 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 August, on August the tenth, twenty twenty, because that was the year. That was the day for the general elections of Trinidad <coughs> and Tobago. All right, that that wasn't the they're not the leaders of this country. Leaders of this country is the Syrian Lebanese group, which is run by the Sabgaboud family. They control the prime minister. See, big corporations and big companies, and ultimately, the bank. All right. The bank the bank does control companies not no freaking prime minister they, they are just meant to lay down the laws and, and whatnot no no president no 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 president no no prime minister they don't do shit. They don't. They don't, They don't have no power invested in them. to do nothing. You see, the finances of these of these political parties, the people and them behind them who pelting out that money. They the people and them who had the power. Them is the people who are the see. All right. And. Who does finance Trinidad and Tobago? Political party which is in power right now, which is the People's National Movement, the, the Syrian Lebanese group. They finance them. Okay? Just like um the, the, the elites of this world finance the United States politicians. All the politicians around the world get financed by big corporations and banks. And who owns the bank? The Rothschilds. You're talking about the Rockefellers, which is uh, the American branch of the Rothschilds. They are the same. All of them is one. All right, the whole heap of them, the whole heap of them, and all of them, they have a mentality, and the mentality is to destroy. That is the whole mentality. That is all they just think about. Because what, what put us on game to make a statement like that? What make we say that? What make a boy? What make a man say that? All right. Would a, would a man falsely accuse somebody just like that? No. <laughs> this is why we say that the scriptures tell me that the Bible is a, is a book a truth. The Bible no lie. If the Bible say that, well, then it has to be true. And plus you could see it in, in the actions that they do not care about nobody by other than the self. So this is the book of um, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 14. It says, Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread 
of wickedness and drink the wine of violence see they eat the bread of wickedness drink the wine of violence that don't mean to have a bread called wickedness and a cup of wine called violence no this is what they intake in internally here all the, because we just eat spiritual food the spiritual food and we just eat spiritual food and drink spiritual drink which is the scriptures all right the scriptures Yahushai, Yahushai, John the sixth, John the sixth chapter, where Yahushai say, eat the bread, the bread, is eat, eat the body, all right. He is the, he say, he is the bread that came down from heaven, and if he should eat the body, because the bread is meat indeed, and the blood is is drink indeed, all right. The wine in the Passover represents the blood of Yahushai, the bread represents the body of Yahushai, and this, this is why I was I come in the volume of the book, right? So when I say these men and them eating the bread of wickedness and drinking the wine of violence, it means all they sit on and intake internally is out to destroy. Yeah, because when we sit on and we intake internally this wood, we learn how to preserve life, how to live. They all they do is study how to destroy with the power that they that they acquired through the devil, through Satan. That's all they do. They they do study life. Alright? They do not study life, they study death. And and this is what we see on the earth right now. That is only death. Everything is dead, boy. Everything is dead, and the reason why we see that is because these elites want it like that. This is how they make the money. This is how they remain on top. One of the Rothschilds or the Rockefellers famously said that you always want to buy when blood is running in, in the streets concerning the stocks. You always want to buy when blood is running in the streets and their mother Gutel Schnapper said there would be no wars if my son didn't want any wars. If my sons didn't want any wars, there would be no wars. That was that is what their mother said. We are talking about the first set of Rothschilds, the, the Maya Amschel's power's wife who changed his name into Mayam Shal Rashad. Her, his wife, Gutel Schnapper, which she was a so-called, from a family, a so-called Jews as well. She said that about her sons, Nathaniel. Um, it had how much of them, five of them. Can't remember the name of one. But that is what she said about his son and a man. If, if she makes that statement and wars continue, and it means that they are the ones in control of all the wars. They had the wars going on because they want blood to continue to run in the streets because of profit. It's because of making money, commerce, right? Business. It's big business for them. That is why scripture said they. they they, they don't sleep unless they do mischief and cause some to fall because they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence right this is this is the food wickedness and violence is the food all right this is all the medicate on food for thought this is all the think about how to destroy and how the power in the hand to destroy it the scriptures say in the book of Job, all right, chapter 9 and verse 24, it says they have the power in their hands to destroy. Job 9.24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? All right. The earth in, in his hands, he, 
Yeah, how do you get to your hands? To rule the earth right now. He's the man in, in charge of the earth to rule the earth. He's he in the rulership seat. Okay? He's in the seat of a rulership. Which is who? These so called white people and them. Alright? This is, that is them. They, they rule this earth. The elites are Trinidad and Tobago, the Syrian Lebanese group. Yeah, we will, I will call it out because it's the truth. And until they like to talk truth and say, oh, there's the one percent, well, right. So we'll call I will call on you out. You rule Trinidad and Tobago. You rule mainly trying to set up the Caribbean as yours. Earth is given into your hands. But just as it was given, it will be taken away and violently. The reason why violently because it's, for, it's time for the Israelites. It's time for the Israelites, the chosen, the chosen of the Heavenly Father to rule. You, your time is up. Your time is up. You have no more rulership in you. You had to go and relax yourself now. I'm going to make three seconds here. This is the book of, um, book of Micah. Book of Micah. This is Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Let's see. Let's see if I could uh, pull up. Pull up this a little bit. Alright, nice. Yeah, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, the pra they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. <coughs> See? And that is, as I was saying, these elites. It's in, it's in their hands to do whatever they feel like. So they tell themselves, we, the people on the earth, is theirs. And everything else. We do not belong to the so called white man. You brought us over here in captivity. Alright? You brought us over here in captivity. And. But then you bring us over here in captivity, you claim to say we is yours. We is not yours. We are the Heavenly Father's own. We are Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's property. We are His possession. The scripture has a reason, Lord. Jacob is the lot of His inheritance. I write in the book of um, Deuteronomy. Chapter 32 and verse 8 it says, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For Yahweh's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Yeah, we do not belong to the Edomites. We are your possession. We are the Heavenly Father's possession. But yet they claim to believe we belong to you. We do not belong to you. We belong to the Lord. We belong to the Heavenly Father. That is who He is. 
easy possession, but you super white people claim to believe, hey, them is minds, we aren't. So we, we, we tend to do is that you oppress, we aren't do we where you feel like. For this, for them thing is why the Heavenly Father will bring wrath upon the, 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 the people of the earth, for them things. The Heavenly Father will play with the possession, we belong to him. Alright? We are his. Scripture says we are dying. Talking about the Israelites. The Israelites speaking to the Lord. They say, Lord, we are yours. We are not theirs. But he so feel because the earth was given into his hands. But we also was given into his hands. That he have a right. That he have a right to be a rule over us. The jewels that he have in front of forever and ever. And he is sadly mistaken. This is the book of Isaiah 63 and verse. Isaiah, Isaiah 63 and 16 says, Doubtless thou art our father. Though Abraham be ignorant of us and Israel acknowledge us not, thou, O Yahweh, art our Father, our, our, our Redeemer, thy name is from everlasting. O Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and hardened our hearts from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake with the tribes of thine inheritance. Who? Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, the tribe. Return. So who are you not returning for? Who, who are you returning for? The tribes of his inheritance. Who is the tribes of his inheritance? Jacob is the lot of my inheritance. Who is Jacob? Jacob the Rothschilds? No. Jacob Isaac's son, as it was written in the, in the, in the scriptures. Verse, verse um, 18 it says the people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while which is the kingdom <coughs> our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary which is our temple of good and pleasant things it says verse 19 we are thine we are yours we belong to the Heavenly Father. We do not belong to no man. It says, Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Verse 64, one time, would that thou would have rent the heavens. Chapter 64, I mean, Isaiah 64 and 1. That thou wouldst rend the heavens, that thou wouldst come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. See? Go straight into it. One time you go straight into it is to, is to destroy them. Destroy who the rulers of this earth. Who believe that the tribes of Jacob is theirs. Because the earth was given into their hands. And what the, the next move is. Because they believe the tribes of Jacob is theirs, is to, is to try and stick a RFID microchip in their hand. Which is the mark of the beast to monitor their every move. Just like the Heavenly Father have the opportunity or the ability, not opportunity because he can give you a chance. He may can take his own chances, he do what he wants. The ability, just like the Lord has the ability, is able to monitor every human being because they see. We are part, everything created is a part of the Lord, so He will know. He so wants everything that the Heavenly Father created to be a part of His peace system. That is why He's the mark of the beast. Excuse me. His peace system, His whole idea of how the world is supposed to run with 
computers here, computers there. You want everything to be a part of that so you can monitor and track everybody on here. But you know what? Not us, boy. Go from go from here with that stupid thinking, boy. We belong to God, boy. The Israelites. And we be, think because of things like that, that's why the Heavenly Father will come and destroy you. Because you want to own his possession. Because if because the earth is given into your hands and it is in the power of your hands right now to do things on the earth and it come to pass. Say the word and it happen. It's in the power of your hands. Right now it's in the power of your hands. Look at how the earth running right now. Are you watching a video day? Even Elon Musk had a way on a mass and go out in public. That means he's he don't know elite. You feel he's elite when on mass? I actually looked up a video to see if they were on mass. No, no, I ain't get no video on them. But they mean on mass, bro. They don't have time for that. And if they do wear on mass, well, then they're just doing it. But then, no, what the hell going on is them is the ones who behind the scenes dictating and controlling everything and telling, and telling you, hey, don't do this or you do that. I do what he done so, I do he done so. Them is the ones behind the scenes whispering in, in your presidents and your prime ministers ears and say X, Y, Z, Z, case and your prime minister uttering it right as they whisper in ears, he said one time. I kind of power them out. <coughs> okay. Because why the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So because they accumulate all this power now, they tell themselves, right? The Israelites supposed to be <laughs> the, the Israelites supposed to be um, a part of the the, the, the the whole setup and they supposed to have the power of us to do unto us whatever they feel like. This is book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 53 and 3 it says every one of them is gone back they are all together become filthy there is none that do it good no not one verse 4 it says have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread see have they no knowledge who, who eat up the Lord's people as they eat bread? They have not called upon the Mosai. See? Do you do you not understand that the Heavenly Father will come and fight for you people? Do you not understand that the fact that you want to put that you actually thinking? You go be a rule over the Lord people and rule over them like 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 they are they are your possession. Gain gain no knowledge, gain wise. The Lord is always fight for people, right? Why? Because that is his people. He, he loves them. He loves his people, he loves the tribes. And and he tribes is is waking up around the four corners of the earth. And, and because of that now, these elites bringing about the order of the system because the, 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 the time getting cut short and they could physically see that. But we don't give a flying look. Our time is next. Alright? The elites could kick rocks. We have we time to rule. The ideas they do stupidness with it. So the, the only way that they're telling themselves they could save the kingdom right now, we gotta know the kingdom going down. The only way they tell themselves they could save the kingdom right now is to what? 
it's the part microchipping everybody I know it is so by then no you'll get a savory kingdom by then no anybody try to rise up and take me down we could freaking kill them but the scriptures say this in the book of Psalm chapter 50 and verse 16 I'll read it from 16 it says but unto the wicked God said what has thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth verse 17 seeing thou hatest instructions and casteth my words behind thee which is these elites <coughs> you take this off on Negro man and you shackle him up and put him on a boat and bring him over here in Babylon over here in the western hemisphere alright to serve you to serve you and you try to tell yourself no well right them is my property I own, them. I own all of them every last one of them is mine no the reason why we it was able to do such a thing is because we received punishment for our sins that was just read in Isaiah the 63rd chapter where, where they, Isaiah was pleading to the heavenly father why why you turn back for me and how ha, do we had so that we wouldn't be in your fear because anytime you do we that we like sitting ducks that would do we all the want then he said return for Jacob's sake the tribes are your inheritance that is the only reason you saw for why people were able to conquer us you wasn't able to conquer us by how powerful and strong he is no it's how weak we was in, in worshiping we God that is how you get strong to take you down because we was weak we wasn't putting that fervent effort in worshiping our power in the days are old we was weak in serving him the heavenly father wanted to see power in serving him but we were serving him half-heartedly and we were serving him and serving other idols and bowing down before them see that is why you was strong enough to conquer we because of our weakness in serving our heavenly father but now we coming back to serve our heavenly father in strength and in power so let we see how how, how you go take we don't know you can't take we don't know you know son you just had to watch we climb and climb until we reach into the kingdom of heaven and you going down and 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 I would, if, if I could address the statement made by our boy, boy eh, see them, see them fellas. And let me tell you, I really and truly do not care about politics because politics is a thing. It's it's just it's just garbage, right? We we don't care about it, but. You know these people are them by they just make some kind of statement. Look like this so called Prime Minister of this country. Not just the statement that he made about a week ago. This fucking black nigga by he's a stink nigga by now. You deceive any own people, right? For small money, right? You make a statement and you make a statement and say it must never be a cease a situation where it's like a seesaw where one has to go down for the other one to come up. This is how the world was in the old and the days are old and this is this is how it's gonna always be. One has to go down for the other one to come up. Jacob Ole and he saw he really have your feel that But he said we must find ways to keep the rich rich so that they will present opportunities for the poor. I don't want no, I don't want no opportunity from the rich. The Heavenly Father will give us our opportunity. But what he's saying is, he, he, this is this is the prime minister of the country, right? This is his statement. Huh? So you see now them thinking, niggas have to suffer. And he is a fucking nigger too, right? He's a Negro fella, right? That way them fellas and them had to perish because all you just sell out all your own people, boy. For scrums, boy. For nothing. We had to find a way to keep the rich rich so that they will provide opportunities for the poor. 
But I don't want opportunity from the rich keep your fucking opportunity. But this is the statement that he made. It mustn't be like a seesaw where one has to go down for the other one to come up. You don't want it to be like that, but that is how it is. Two kings cannot sit on a throne, sorry. Two kings cannot sit on a throne. These 